Hi friends! Thanks for tuning into my channel. I'm Vaishnavi and I make tutorials on how to achieve fun editorial looks on women of color. Keep watching to see how I created this bright mod style makeup look. So I'm going to start with my concealer. I'm going to put it in the usual spots. Then I'm just going to go ahead on my blemishes. And then I'm going to do my more natural skin tone concealer. Now I'm going to go in with my contour. Okay, have my nose done. I'm just going to do under my cheekbones, my chin area. Oh my gosh. And I'm just gonna prime my lids. Just blending it out with Beauty Blender. And then for my blemishes, I just use my finger to blend it out. You just wanna like diffuse the outside so that it blends out, but you can keep it on the actual blemish. I am going to set my concealer. I like to use just a compact brush. Can we talk about how the word guru for YouTube artists is kind of strange? Guru is an Indian word that refers to a spiritual guider. Oh, it's so weird to hear those Indian words just randomly dispersed throughout American culture. Anyways, there's been this strange trend of YouTube videos from makeup artists that are super dramatic. It's disappointing, honestly, to be someone who actually consumes these videos in order to learn about makeup. And then people are obviously just trying to make money off of hits. It's really disappointing. And I wish more smaller YouTubers that actually focused on presenting makeup, showing techniques, I wish those people were the ones that were making money and making a living because those are the people that I want to keep on my radar. So if you have any suggestions for any smaller YouTubers that I should go ahead and watch, let me know. All right, we are looking snatched. Now I'm going to do my brows. So I go ahead and dip in to my brow pomade, making sure to get it on both sides of the brush. Then I take the cap of the pomade and just take off any of the excess. I am going to start in the middle of my brow, keeping the brush flat and just creating strokes of hair. If you want a fuller brow look, you can actually fill in some hairs over here. I'm actually going to take a spoolie and brush out my eyebrow hairs. Now I'm going to brush my hairs down. I have completed this brow. Now I'm going to finish it off using some brow gel. Picking it up, I'm loving, I'm loving. So about a million years later, I have completed this eye. Take a look. I'm going to go ahead and recreate it. I'm going to start by putting a color in my crease. It's a very bright fuchsia type pink. I'm going to use just a compact crease brush. I'm just going to start by placing that pigment on the outer part of my crease. Another thing that you can go ahead and do is use a fluffier brush to just kind of soften out the edges. I'm quite satisfied with this, so we're gonna go ahead and cut our crease using my highlight shade concealer. You gotta make a circle that Solange will be proud of. I'm going to use this very pointy brush in order to sharpen all the edges. She look cute, she look cute, what do you think? And now I'm going to use my yellow. I'm going to pick it up on a flat brush like this one 
and this is just a Sephora color. Um, it's not great. <laughs> Granted, I'm going to make it work. We did have to kind of bleach our skin for this to show up and that's not chill. In order to place this pigment down, I'm just going to apply a lot onto the brush and pat rather than swipe. I finally get to look like the mango I always dreamed of being. Now I'm going to go in with a smaller flat brush in order to shade in the outside and the inside of the shape. I use a smaller brush just so it's more precise because I don't really want to get this yellow into the pink. Now the bottom is a green shade and this is also very, very challenging for us brown ladies to work with. So again, we're gonna do a concealer in order for that color to show up. Be gone dark circles. You will now be green. We are concealed and ready to go. I'm gonna go in with a very, very small brush and I'm just gonna pack on a green shade. It's going to be this shade. I am also going to take that really, really fine brush I was using for my concealer earlier, and I wanted to do this slice kind of thing. Um, as you can see, it's two separate sections, kind of like a slice of an orange or a mango or something like that, and I'm going to achieve that by just concealing in between those two slices. Okay, and we have extended it all the way. Now I'm going to use a pink lipstick in order to create this inner corner wing. I'm just going to place that pink lipstick on the angled brush. Now I am going to create the wing on my lash line. I'm going to use the same angled brush that I was using previously. I'm now just going to go ahead and clean up some of the shadow on the top using some concealer. Okay, so that is the finished eye look. I'm going to just take another look, clean things up, and I will finish off my face with blush, highlight, bronzer, all that good stuff. I popped on some lashes and sure as hell did not do that on camera. I'm going to use some highlighter. Now I'm going to do a blush. I'm going to use a Glossier Cloud Paint. And lastly, I'm going to apply my lipstick. I'm going to do a, an ombre glossy lip, kind of inspired by Rihanna's latest magazine cover. I'm going to line my lips with this dark berry shade. I have my liner on, and then I'm going to take that pink that I was using on my eye and just kind of put it in the center of my lip. I'm gonna dab some lip gloss to just kind of make me look a little juicy. That is the final look. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something about the way that I do my makeup. I hope you were inspired to do something fun this summer. And I hope you subscribe. The more love I get, the more content I'll produce. I'll still be producing a lot of content because I really, really love doing this, but thank you so much for your support. You, you love the hell I move you, you love the hell I touch